down the street and we make all our ice creams fresh there. You want to just leave the tray? Seeing this, Maria would talk about the idea that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're there for a reason. You know, God put you there for a reason. And you get to find out what that is. <laughs> I was very nervous about how my own convictions about my faith, my morals, were going to interact with the craziness of Berkeley. You know, it's like, okay, I want to meet people, I want to make new friends, but how do I, how do I make it clear to them that I want to live this way? or that I have these certain beliefs, you know, they're going to think I'm crazy. Problems and whatever, academic, moral... And then slowly, you know, with people I would meet, with the different girls in my dorm, what I've come to realize is that I just want to, when I'm talking to somebody, I just want to say, this is what I believe, and not make any apologies for it. Who needs something, or who... You know, and I found that that's attractive to people. You've just had a very difficult tragedy in your family life. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Um, almost exactly a year ago, my mother passed away um, at the age of 49. So, the ripe old age of 49. I remember still getting the call. I was sitting at a Starbucks, up, actually just over the hill, studying for finals. And... You know, hearing that she was in the hospital, it was, it, was a, it was a blow. Within a month and a half, she was gone. And that was, it was tough. It was a tough week. It was a tough month. It was a tough year. I was very angry at God. I thought, you know, how could he need her more than we do? Like, what was God thinking? Was he on vacation that day? You know, what? <sighs> I got to a point where I wasn't praying and I just remember sitting in my car one day just crying, you know, and I had my little Palm Pilot, so it was, it was sort of modern day crying because I was taking, I was kind of journaling. I was thinking like, what, what is wrong? What's, you know, why aren't, why aren't things working out? Even just sort of within me and I thought, there's something, there's something missing. And then it kind of dawned on me. I was like, oh, this is what it's like to starve your soul, you know, when you don't pray. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, it's a lot more clear to me now. I remember kind of sitting down and being like, I can't, I can't do all this myself. I'd like to think that I can, but, but I can't and I need your help. So I just have to give these things to you. And I think that, that actually took a, that took a big load off to say like, it's not, it's not all my responsibility. You know, I'm gonna do what I can do and then say, okay, you have to take the rest of that. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. And a lot of times with Santa Maria, I think the, that call to holiness, that universal call to holiness, and I also read that as the universal call to happiness. She's the executive chef. You know, that through this route, if you want to live a certain way, you will be the most happy that you can be. Bless the Lord in these that gifts that you're about to receive from the body of Christ our Lord. Amen.